Hello, folks. Welcome to Kudlow. I'm Larry Kudlow. Well, there he goes again. Here's President Biden complaining about oil companies not refining enough gasoline. Take a listen, please. They have 9,000 leases, 9,000 leases on public land, and they should be the users of the leases. They've cut back on refining, on refining, and they say because they don't want to get caught in a position, they don't want to get stuck. I want an explanation from them as to why they aren't refining more oil. Yeah, well, here we go. 9,000 leases, but they can't get a permit. And regarding refining, on Friday on this show, American Petroleum Institute President Mike Summers told us this. Because of the COVID pandemic and because of environmental regulations and incentives from the federal government, there have been 11 refineries that have shut down just in the last two years. Right. 11 refineries shut down last two years. Somebody here is right and somebody here is wrong. I'm taking the over on Mike Summers. Former Vice President Mike Pence, who's going to be here in a few moments, he has a thing or two to say about climate czar John Kerry actively working to stop loans and financing of energy companies, which, of course, would include refining operations. Mr. Pence be here in a couple minutes. And then, of course, who would want to make a long-term investment in refining, knowing that this administration wants to end fossil fuels altogether? And, of course, Biden's extreme environmental regulations, including clean air and clean water and ending NEPA permitting, would never allow a new refiner in the first place. Businessman John Katsimatidis points out that U.S. oil refiners have dropped in the last 40 years from 301 all the way down to 124. That's right. Now, on another front, President Biden met with Democratic economic critic Larry Summers this morning. We don't know all that they talked about, but Summers, a year ago, a year and a half ago, argued that excessive federal spending would cause high inflation. Biden said, no, it won't. Summers said, yes, it will. Summers was right. But Uncle Joe hadn't learned much because he's still pushing for a Build Back Smaller package that would spend nearly $1 trillion, according to some sources, combined with a $1.7 trillion tax hike. Now, if these sources are to be believed, Senator Joe Manchin is holding secret negotiations with Senator Chuck Schumer to pass this high-spend, high-tax package that, frankly, would make both recession and inflation even worse. I hope these reports about my friend Joe Manchin aren't true. I have a hard time believing that he was so terrific in saving America and killing the original bill. Joe, please don't break my heart. We've done enough damage to the American people and to the American economy. Let's not do any more. In his speech today in Chicago, our next guest, Mike Pence, says, and I quote, the night is always darkest just before the dawn. Well, gosh, I hope that's true, because I believe the cavalry is coming. But sometimes I'm afraid things always look darkest before they turn completely black. I hope that's not the case right now, honestly. And that's my riff tonight.